Hey Gateway Church kids, I am so excited to be teaching you your lesson today on this Sunday morning. I hope all of you are well. We miss all of you, but I'm excited to be here with you in your home this morning. So today um, we're going to be diving deeper into the lesson we learned in Zoom Kids on Thursday, and that was um, how Jesus called his disciples to follow him. And the key passage, if you recall, is from John, John 3, 30, about how we need to um, just make less of us so that we can focus more on Jesus. So the big picture question that I want to start off our lesson with today is, why did Jesus become human? Why did Jesus become human? So today's story is about how Jesus called his disciples to follow him. You know, a lot of us have um, friends, a lot of friends, and it's such a blessing to have um, big groups of friends, but a lot of our closest friends, we usually have a few in our closest core group. And we're going to hear today about how Jesus, in his closest group, he had disciples his, who were also his closest friends. And we're going to learn about how those people became his disciples and followers. So I want to give you a little background first, just on some biblical history, biblical times. Um, back in Old Testament days, a rabbi, um, which also means master, was a teacher of um, scripture and Jewish laws. And Jewish students would seek out a rabbi and ask him if they could follow him. But the rabbi would only choose a few select Jewish students to follow him so that he could teach them. So only the few promising students could be his followers. So if a student wasn't accepted as a rabbi, he was often sent back home and he could not be a follower of the rabbi. But it's interesting how Jesus chose to do things differently than what was traditional. When Jesus chose his disciples, he didn't wait for us or his disciples and followers to come to him. Jesus sought out his disciples and followers among all different types of people. So people who followed him came from all different walks of life. He chose fishermen, taxpayers, brothers, he approached ordinary, ordinary men and said, come and follow me. And so immediately they would leave and pick up um, with Jesus and follow him wherever he was going. As most of you probably know, Jesus picked 12 disciples who were his closest followers and friends. And today we're going to learn about those 12 disciples and how they came to follow Jesus. So Jesus the call to follow Jesus, we're going to see, is not always an easy one. When Jesus comes and asks you to follow him, he says, If anyone wants to follow after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. And we see that in Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. So right now I'm going to read um, a part of our story, which comes from Matthew chapter 4, verse 9, Mark chapters 1 through 3, and Luke chapter 5 through 6. Jesus' ministry had begun. He traveled around preaching about God and telling people to turn away from their sins. People started talking about Jesus and the things he was teaching. They were interested in what he had to say. Large crowds followed Jesus around and listened to him teach. One day, Jesus was walking along the Sea of Galilee. He saw two brothers, Simeon, who was Simon, who was called Peter, and Andrew. Peter and Andrew were fishermen, and Jesus called out to them, Follow me, and I will teach you how to be fishers of men. So right away, Peter and Andrew dropped their nets and followed Jesus. Later, he saw two more brothers, and their names were James and John. They were in a boat fishing. And Jesus called to them right away. They got up. And they left their father and their family and their boat and followed Jesus. And now we're going to watch the video to see how that story continues even more, how Jesus found his disciples, his 12 disciples, to come and follow him. One day, as Jesus was preaching on the shore of the Sea of Galilee, a big crowd of people gathered. As the crowd grew, the people pressed closer and closer to Jesus. Jesus saw two empty boats at the water's edge. The fishermen had left and were washing their nets. Jesus stepped into one of the boats. It belonged to Simon and his brother, Andrew. Simon? Don't you mean Peter? 
Well, later Jesus gives Simon a new name and calls him Peter. But that hasn't happened yet, so in this story, his name is still Simon. Got it. So where were we? Oh yeah, Jesus asked Simon to take him out on the water away from the shore. Right. And Simon did it. Jesus sat in the boat away from the shore and taught the crowds from there. When Jesus finished teaching, he said, Go out where it is deep and let down your nets to catch some fish. We worked hard all night and didn't catch a thing. But if you say so, I'll let down the nets again. Simon and Andrew let down their nets. And this time, when they pulled the nets out of the sea, they were so full of fish, they began to tear. They called out to their friends who owned the other boat. Guys, bring your boat over here. You're not going to believe this. James, John, and their father, Zebedee, brought their boat over. Soon, both boats were so full of fish, they almost sank. The fishermen were amazed. They knew Jesus had performed a miracle right in front of them. Simon fell to his knees. He was in awe. Simon saw how powerful Jesus was and knew he must have been sent by God. Oh Lord, please leave me. I don't deserve to be near you. I have disobeyed God. Don't be afraid. From now on, you'll be fishing for people. Jesus meant that from that day forward, they would be telling people everywhere about Jesus and his power. And because of that, many would choose to follow Jesus. When they got back to shore, Simon and his brother Andrew decided to follow Jesus. Their friends, James and John, left their boat with their father so they could follow Jesus too. Those four fishermen left everything behind so they could follow Jesus' example. They learned about Jesus, spent time with him, and discovered how to do everything the way Jesus did. And that's how Simon, also known as Peter, along with Andrew, James, and John, became Jesus' very first disciples. So you guys, we've seen how Jesus called different people, ordinary men, to be his followers, just like you and me and our brothers and sisters and mom and dad, ordinary people meaning sinners. He didn't pick extraordinary people. God's love, Jesus wanted to show that God's love is extended to all and every person. So the connection here is that Jesus, remember I asked you that question at the very beginning, why did Jesus come to earth? Well, he came to earth to show what God is like, to show God's love and to save people from their sins. And this is the great news. Jesus told his disciples to tell other people about him. And we are Jesus' disciples when we trust in him. Everyone in this world needs to hear about the good news of Jesus. And that is what Jesus has commissioned us to do. That is why he came to this earth to make us fishers of men in his name. So with that, um, I want to leave you guys with a few, um, just a few big picture items that you can talk about when you, with your family when we're done here. Why do you think Jesus' disciples left everything to follow Jesus? And how can you apply that to your own life? How today can you pick up your cross and follow Jesus today? Also, what might we need to leave behind? in order to follow Jesus. And lastly, what do we gain when we follow Jesus? So again, just why, the big picture question, why did Jesus become human? He became human to obey his Father's plans and to rescue sinners like you and me. That's all for today, you guys. I hope you are well. And I can't wait to see all of your smiley faces soon. Bye.